is for grown sexy hoes that wear pink toes and they got on a rose and they put their hair in a bowl. <laughs> it pulls the men and Barbie always have her akin. So don't ever play like that. What's up, badass hoes? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm about to be showing y'all some perfumes that will make you smell like a Barbie now. Before I start this video, please make sure you're not spraying perfume over funk. Take your ass in that shower, bathe thoroughly, and then come out and spray your perfume. I don't need none of you hoes spraying perfume over musk because now you smell like perfume and musk and it never gave, it never mixed, and it's never going to mix ever in life because you... You're not even fully bathed and you stink. You can't be a Barbie and not be fully clean, okay? To smell like a Barbie, y'all, just look at Barbie. Barbie is girly. She's pink. She's like, well, she's not pink. She She's white. But she wears pink. She keeps herself together. She's girly. She's cute. You know what I'm saying? To smell like a Barbie, you want to, you know, smell girly. You want to smell flirtatious. You want to smell like a girly girl. So these scents that I'm about to show y'all are girly girl fragrances. They're sweet. They're fruity. And yeah, you just want to smell like a girly girl. You don't want to smell like a man. You don't want to smell like ill. You want to smell like a girly girl girl and these scents are good girl scents but like i said before we even get into the scents please make sure you wash your ass first because i like i said you ain't gonna ever in your life smell like a barbie if you won't wash that ass first so the first scent that we are going with is kate spade oh my god <gasps> the nozzle just came off kate spade we have some explaining to do huh you, you got some explaining to do because bitch okay she, she's good she's good kate spade is a very sweet girly strawberry scent a lot of people love strawberry scents but they're probably like where can i get a strawberry scent that actually smells like strawberries kate spade this has a wild strawberry note and i'm telling you you get that as soon as you spray you get that i'm telling you kate spade is a very sweet fruity but it has like this grownness in it like yes it's fruity yes it's girly but it has like a grownness touch to it like a like this scent right here, it's very sweet, you know, it's very fruity, but it's not giving me overly overpowering. It's not giving overpowering, like childish, like ill, like it's giving me like, yes, like I love this, like this is good, like this smells good. Like if you hug somebody and they smell like this, you're gonna be like, damn, she smells good. Now, this literally smells like Barbie in a bottle because it's just so sweet and then like, even by the packaging it gives barbie like the top is pink it got some hearts on it it literally smells like barbie you know what i'm saying if i were to describe what barbie smells like it would literally be kate spade in the bottle this scent is giving barbie it's giving girly it's giving flirtatious it's giving i want to eat you are you like some kind of candy like it's giving a wild strawberry in a bottle and i honestly feel like barbie would smell like this and I really like this scent. So I highly recommend Kate Spade. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a strawberry scent. I love strawberries. So, yes. Oh, shit. But the top keep falling off. Anyways, next. The next scent I have is Valentino Born in Roma. Y'all, this is like my favorite expensive scent. I love this scent. This scent has a black currant note and it also has vanilla. Y'all, this scent right here. Mm. Mm, Barbie would definitely wear the scent because this scent is just so like it's sweet, it's fruity, it's gourmand, and it's grown, and it's like a bow. It's like a ooh, you smell so good. It's like a ooh, it's like a, you gotta go in a store and smell it. That's how good it is. This is probably the best expensive perfumes out there. This is my favorite scent. I really feel like Barbie would smell like this because it's just it's girly, but it's grown. This is not for little kids, babe. This is not for little kids, babe. This, this is for grown sexy hoes that wear pink toes and they got on a rose and they put their hair in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, this right here, top 10. I really love this scent. It's just a girly scent. Like it's giving put together woman that wears pink. Um, Y'all know me, my name is Bad Barbie and these are scents that I wear. So if my name is Bad Barbie, don't you think Barbie would wear this because I'm basically Barbie, but I'm black. So me and Barbie are kind of the same person. So if I wear it, then Barbie would wear it. Okay. So yes, Valentino, I love this scent. Oh, it's just so, it's just so 
good like oh y'all gotta smell it y'all gotta go in the store and smell y'all so i highly recommend this from i highly recommend you get this valentino baby yes yes now the next scent barbie will wear eh, gucci flora okay so gucci flora child thankfully the notes are actually on the back of this one well not all the notes if y'all want to know the fragrance notes y'all really have to go to fragnitica and they show all the notes and then you can read and see everything that's in the fragrance like what it's supposed to smell like but baby because sometimes they'll tell you the notes on the bottle and that's not all the notes but anyways gucci flora this is a very 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 sweet fruity floral type of scent this is a fruity floral this has some florals in it because you know it's gucci flora but it's like a girly girl floral it's not like a floral where it's like old lady and it's stank and it's like you know what i'm saying this is more like a vivi la juicy type of flora like a fruity type of flora this does have you know some vivi la juiciness in it like it kind of smells similar to vivi la juicy but it is different in its own way gucci flora smells really really good and barbie would definitely wear this because it's just very you know girly this is a girly scent like if i were to look at a girly girl I would expect her to wear this. This has white gardenia in it. It has grand florum jasmine and it also has pear blossom. That pear blossom in this fragrance is like fruity. So it's giving, it's bringing out that fruitiness, which is bringing out that girliness. Any scent that has like a fruit in it will make the fragrance smell girly because any girly girl would smell like sweet and she would smell fruity. If any scent has a fruit in it, it's a really girl scent to me. Especially if it smells really. This right here smells really, really good. I love this scent. It's just, I feel like this is a confidence booster. Like, like you just know you that bitch when you got this on. This smells so good. I feel like you get plenty, plenty, plenty of compliments wearing this. Um, I only wore this like one time and I wore it to Ross. I actually did get a couple of compliments on how I smelled. And that right there, my friend, is how you know a bad bitch be smelling good okay so yes gucci flora okay, now the next scent i think we should call this a controversial scent because this is pink sugar i have to include this scent. now i have a love-hate relationship with miss pink sugar i i love the cotton candy scents my whole life but this bitch right here smells like burnt sugar and it pisses me off but y'all already know what pink sugar smells like this is a cotton candy fragrance um it has cotton candy strawberry I think it has a raspberry note. It has tangerine. It has licorice, vanilla. It has damn near the whole entire candy line in this fragrance. It has a whole bunch of candy and a whole bunch of fruits. But when you smell it and you put it to your nose, you get burnt sugar. But the thing about it is, it's a good scent and it can layer really well with your other scents. Now, why would Barbie wear this? When you open it, it smells like a female. Okay, it smells like a fucking female. It smells like a girl that has on cotton candy. Cotton candy is pink. What do you probably wear? Pink, exactly. Pink sugar is just giving me burp. This is giving burp. Um, like I said, the reason why I have a love-hate relationship with the scent is because I love the fact that it does smell like cotton candy, but the fact that it has that burnt sugar note in it is really pissing me off. Now, if you go look up the notes, it's not going to say burnt sugar. The burnt sugar note is licorice. Licorice is what's making the fragrance smell like burnt sugar. Don't put black licorice in no other fragrances. Please, because it's going to smell like brown sugar. But anyways, that's besides the point. Pink sugar is a girly scent. It's a, you know, gourmand, sweet, fruity, mainly uh, cotton candy-like, licorice-like fragrance. You would have to smell this for yourself to see if you would want to wear it. But to me, this does smell good. It's just that brown sugar note that makes me not want to wear it. Um... This can be very nauseating for some people. Um, definitely for me, it could be headache inducing, but they say that this is a man magnet. Okay, so it pulls them in and Barbie always have her a kin. So don't ever play like that. Okay, you might get the kins with this now. You might get the kins. Like I said, this is good for layering. A lot of people use this for layering. You can pair this with case spade if you wanted to. As y'all can see, it has a nice little dent in it. This is a 1.7 ounce. I started wearing this when I was like a senior in high school. Actually, I think I got this my junior year when COVID was around. And I wasn't like going to school like that. But I started going to school my senior year. And then I graduated or whatever. I was wearing this in school. And I felt cute. And I felt girly when I wore this thing. So definitely, I feel like Barbie would wear this. 
Now this scent is a scent that a lot of people probably don't know nothing about because it's from Rue 21, but here it is, child. This is a Botanic Everlasting Sugar Petal. I don't know if they even have this available because this is a limited edition fragrance. Rue 21 is a place that you go to in the mall. You can go um, look up their website on Google, but they sell fragrances like every once they always sell perfume but they always have a limited a limited edition perfume i just want to tell y'all this scent right here is a dupe for teas sugar flur by victoria's secret this smells exactly like tea sugar flur by victoria's secret which is why i also have a scott of candy love in the body oil because this also smells like tea sugar flur by victoria's secret now these literally smell the same so i added this one too but this right here, y'all, this is a strawberry sugary scent, okay? This scent right here smells like the color pink. It smells like the color pink. It has a strawberry note. It also has confetti sprinkles in it. But this scent, I don't think they have it anymore. Um, but just know it smells like tea, sugar flurry by Victoria's Secret. It's a strawberry candy-like girly scent. This is very, very girly. This is definitely screaming sweet candy inducing nauseating scent. This is giving me like very, very sweet. Like if you're nauseous, don't wear this, you might throw up. Um, that's just how I feel. That does not mean it stinks, y'all. I'm this is just my real raw opinion. It does not stink. It smells very sweet, it's very girly, it's it's very fruity, gourmand type situation. But if you get nauseous easily, I don't recommend it because it's very, very sweet. Because when I first smelled tea sugar flare from Victoria's Secret in the mall, I was like, damn, I feel like I'm about to throw up. And I was on my period, so I don't know if that was why, but I'm telling you, it's a very sweet fragrance. Like this is definitely candy, sugar in a bottle. It's not like Kate Spade. Like Kate Spade is sweet, but it don't make me feel like how this would make me feel. This would give me like a nauseating vibe, but it's a very good scent. It's very sweet. It's very fruity. I can see Barbie wearing this because of how, you know, sweet it is. Now the next scent that I have is a dupe for Oriana. This is on some gold okay so if you know what oriana smells like then you know what this smells like this is literally a 99.9 dupe for oriana you can basically say this is oriana in a different packaging so this scent right here is an arabian perfume it is latafa on some gold um this scent right here child Ooh, it's very very strong and intoxicating and it can be nauseating it can be headache inducing but baby it smells so good this scent right here is a lucky charms type of fragrance this scent right here is like a fruity pebbles lucky charms raspberry marshmallow vanilla whipped cream type of scent this does have a raspberry note in it it also has sweet notes in it this scent right here is like a the best way i could put this is a Lucky Charms with raspberries, floating in whipped cream with fruity pebbles, candy, and marshmallows with pink Lucky Charms and other Lucky Charms with more Lucky Charms. That is what this smells like. This is a very, very sweet fragrance. Um, It's giving the girls, you could smell me as soon as I walk in. I can definitely 100% see Barbie wear this. I be wearing it. Okay, so Barbie would wear it. Um, it can be headache inducing. Definitely. It can be nauseating. Don't wear it when you're nauseous. Because this is actually a very strong scent. Especially when you just sprayed it and you roll it down. You're going to smell it. Like it's going to open up your nostrils and you're going to like really smell it. This, it, 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 could get a, it could get a little spray lightly with this. Spray lightly. But it smells so good, y'all. It's such a sweet, girly scent. Like a sweet, fruity, girly type of scent. Definitely grown up, though. Definitely a grown up type of girly. Not a little kid type of girly. You feel me? Like pink sugar? That's little kid girly. This is this is grown up girly. I like this scent. I love her. Um, I feel like I'll be able to savor this scent because you do not need a lot of sprays of this. And that's coming from me. Somebody who sprays the perfume like this. This be me. You want some perfume? Sure. Oh, <laughs> you got some? Yes. That's how I spray it. With this, all you need is a... Oh. Yeah. You probably don't 
even need all that. Honestly. I'm serious. But yeah, that is Ansem Go. Let me say this. This is not sponsored, y'all. But this perfume oil, if y'all cannot afford, like, the perfumes I showed y'all, this. It's only $5 on Amazon. And the shipping is $5, too. So you're going to probably pay $10. But this right here smells exactly like a Barbie. I know the name is a little bit, you know, raunchy. But it's this Pussy Perfume Body Oil by Mo Better. Y'all, this shit smell like strawberries and cotton candy and like a unicorn. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a very unique fragrance. Like, I have not smelled no perfume that smells like this. Okay, I could probably think of perfumes and put them together and it probably smells like this like this probably smells like velvet sugar mixed with pink chiffon and scotta a scotta candy love but honestly i really feel like there's no perfume that smells like this this is a very exotic fragrance this perfume oil literally smells like the color pink like out of all the fragrances i've showed y'all this is the main one that smells like the color pink like i really feel like barbie would really wear this like y'all this smells like the color pink i kid y'all not and it's so strong another one i have is sweet like candy this is an impression of sweet like candy y'all they do impressions so good mo better fragrance oils like they do the impression so good the only thing i don't like about them is their shipping and the fact that they give you a very small amount but it smells just like sweet like candy this is another barbie smelling barbie girl smelling fragrance it's very very sweet i highly recommend y'all try mo better fragrance oils like all of these since i blind bought from amazon and i like every single one of them like i don't have a problem with none of them at all they're very very strong might can be nauseating and it might could give you a little headache because it is strong but y'all it smells so good you don't even need a lot like i highly recommend let me know if y'all check them out the link to them will be in my amazon storefront if y'all want body oils y'all want to see perfumes and shit go to my amazon storefront i will not steer y'all wrong i swear to god y'all something stink i'm gonna let y'all know something bad i'm gonna let y'all know this right here they need to they might as well go ahead and sponsor me i already have four of these little body oils and i'm literally going to get more very obsessed and they smell exactly like barbie and the last fragrance i feel like Barbie would wear is Ari by Ariana Grande. This right here is girly in a bottle. Bitch, do I really need to say any more? Do, do I really? Like, do, do I really need to say anything more? Now, if you have Sweet Like Candy by Ari, that is also Barbie in a bottle. I had that scent used at all, it is gone. If I could add that to the video, I would, but I do not have the scent anymore. Because it's gone. I used it all. But that is also a Barbie scent. This scent right here has a raspberry note in it. It has whipped cream. I know y'all probably think, what well, does it smell like? Yeah, go, hell no, nothing like it. This smells like a raspberry candy. Like a sweet raspberry candy. It smells so good, y'all. Like, it smells like an actual girly girl. Like, it smells like the color pink. And it has like this sweet, fruity, like whipped cream, like a little bit of vanilla vibe to it. It smells super, super, super duper good. I love Ari. It has a nice little dent in it. But this is also like on the more younger side. But you can definitely pull off as a grown woman wearing it. Definitely would see Barbie wearing it. If they made a Barbie perfume, I feel like it definitely should smell something like this. Because it's so girly and it's just so, ooh, like, yes. I love Ari. I think Ari smells amazing. I think she smells wonderful. She is a very, very good scent. Packaging is real cute. I love Ari. Um, Does it last? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. But not too much, though. Not, not too much. Not too much, too much. But it's a little something. You know what I'm saying? It's a little something. And that's all that matters. That's just a little something, okay? But yeah, I do feel like Barbie would smell like this. Ciao. I smell like it. You know the name. You see your face, bitch. What? And it don't matter. And so what did you want to do about the situation? Nothing. Because who stank? You do. I don't stink. Because my name's Barbie and I smell weird and you see me. Okay? Okay, but thank y'all so much for watching this video. Those are all the scents that I feel like Barbie would wear. Now, I do have more perfume. You know, I have 
quite a bit of perfume like it's still perfume standing on my dresser but these are the perfumes that stand out to me the most that scream barbie to me and i just wanted to share that with y'all because i know it's a lot of barbie things going around right now and i know that my name is bad barbie and like i've been going off that name since i was young so i always like the everything pink a lot of barbie things a lot of barbie this barbie that pink colors a lot of girly shit it it's in my aesthetic, so I wanted to do this video. And I know y'all probably want to smell like a Barbie doll, because why not? But anyways, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and get me to 4,000 subscribers. We almost there. And yeah, make sure y'all let me know some video suggestions down below. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Bye!